friends. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to import Metamoji sticker packs from your device or your cloud storage into Metamoji for use with your digital planner. Now, this is available for both Apple and Android users. However, for Apple users at the time of filming this video, this feature is only available for the pro version of Metamoji, which I believe right now is $7.99 on the App Store. Um, Android users, though, this will work for both the pro and the light versions of Metamoji. So what's the difference between a Metamoji sticker pack and a PNG file? Well, an individual PNG file, not a whole lot. But when you're purchasing like weekly kits, monthly kits, or sticker packs that have more than one image, this is a time saver. Because instead of having to import each image one at a time, you can pull in the Metamoji file, just like if you're familiar with GoodNotes, it's just like a GoodNotes file in that the stickers are already cropped, they're all on one sheet. So you basically just highlight the sticker you want with your lasso tool, copy, go to your planner, paste. Go back to your sticker book, copy, go to your planner, paste. You don't have to freehand crop. You don't have to do any sort of removing any backgrounds or anything like that. They are all there and ready to go. So I will be time stamping in the description um, for Apple users and for Android users so that you can just skip ahead to the part that's going to work for you. All right, let's get into it. Okay guys, so um, for you Apple users, you're gonna wanna go ahead, remember you have to have the full version of the app. Let me show you why real quick. I'll head into the light version, hit the plus, you'll see that import is not here. But if we go into the full version, hit the plus, there's your import right there. So you have to have the full version of the app for this to work. So we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and hit import, then you're gonna hit browse, you're going to go to your locations. Mine is stored on my drive. And the Metamoji files, I have to get to it. Here we go. Okay, the Meta Metamoji file is going to have the little Metamoji symbol on it. So you're going to go ahead and tap here. And then it's going to go ahead and import the note. And here you go, check this out. So here's a practice planner that I'm working on for a live stream that I'm gonna be doing later this week. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this out. And then up here, I have my planner and then I have my Metamoji sticker pack that I just pulled in. All right, so you're just gonna come over here, make sure you have that selected, hit your highlight, you're gonna copy Come back to your planner and then you're going to long press, oh wait, again with the lasso tool, but you're going to long press and then paste. And from here you can resize, you can move, you can rotate however you want to do it. And there you go. And then we can go to another page, say we wanted to work here, come back to our planner or lasso tool again, we're gonna touch, we're gonna copy, go back to the planner, make sure your lasso is selected, long press, paste. And then I will say it is a little more difficult to be accurate with your, where you're putting things in Metamoji as compared to GoodNotes, but it is absolutely doable. So there you go, Apple users, that's how you get it done. All right guys, so for Android, all right, you're going to want to navigate to your app and I'm gonna go ahead and use the light version just to show you that it does work. Um, with Android, it does work on both. As you can see, I've been in here playing around a little bit. All right, so here's the wrong orientation version of my planner. You wanna make sure that you're in your main menu here. You're gonna hit the little sandwich thing. You wanna to go to read file, Metamoji note document. And you have to have this on your, um, on your internal storage. 
However, say you have it stored in Google Drive, you can navigate to your drive, go to the folder where you have your file in that you want to download, and this is going to be an ATDOC file. That is the Metamoji file name. So you're just going to hit select download and you see down here it's telling you it's going to be downloaded. So I found that these are pretty quick to download so I'm just going to go ahead and navigate right back over here back to the Metamoji. Now I'm going to hit cancel on that but then I'm going to go over here again, read file, Metamoji note document, and there it is right there. So it's going to import, and here it is. You want to make sure that you have your lasso tool selected. This little, either the eyeball thing or this pen is usually selected by default. So make sure you have your lasso tool selected, and then you can just tap, copy, go over to your planner. Lasso tool still selected. You're going to long press paste. And then you can adjust the size, adjust the location, you can rotate, and then just click off and there it is. And then you can go back to, whoops, I didn't mean to hit that plus sign. You can go back to your sticker pack, make sure your lasso is selected, highlight, copy, go back to your planner, long press, paste, adjust, and set. It is that easy. So when you're working with a full sticker kit, this is so much easier than trying to do this one PNG at a time. Plus, you have one file sitting in your storage as opposed to having 30 files for a small kit or 70 files for a larger kit. So you have one file sitting there. You can just go over here, again, press, copy, go back to your document, long press, and paste, adjust, and stick. And they're not stuck there. If you have your lasso tool selected, you can just tap it and slide it around. How easy is that? And that's it, you guys. How easy is that to do? Um, I'm surprised, very surprised at how little of these there are out there because I see all the time how um, it, everything is so much easier on Apple. It's, you know, you can't do any of this on Android. It's not true. Um, I will say that the only thing that I find Metamoji to be lacking when it comes to comparison is the ability to hyperlink. However, for someone like me who decorating, I do so much more than navigating through my planner. Like once I get to the week that I'm on, I stay there throughout the week, unless I have something else to add in, which there are ways around doing that in Metamoji. So this for me is like, if GoodNotes were to ever take a poo, this is where I would land because having this functionality makes decorative planning so much more enjoyable. And it makes it so much more enjoyable on Android because you don't have to constantly be back and forth, back and forth, trying to pull in a sticker kit. You can't see all your stickers at once. I, I can't plan that way. So having that functionality available on Metamoji makes it so that I can plan better on my Android tablet. So um, if you guys are looking, the kit that I used, by the way, um, it's uh, Tori Amos lyrics, don't judge me, I'm a 90s kid. Um, they are actually available as a free download on my website, www.lennydigitals.com. Um, I just made them. I was feeling nostalgic listening to some Tori, you know? So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a Tory kit. So yeah, it's a free download if y'all wanna go there. It's under the freebies tab, feel free. Um, but yeah, so uh, the Metamoji file is there. I have the GoodNotes file, the Metamoji file, and for you holdout people, I have all the PNG files too. But um, go ahead and give it a try, test it out, see how it works for you. Um, 
like I said, for me, for Android planning, it was a game changer learning that you could do this because not only you guys can you pull in sticker packs like this, but if you get a kit that is just PNGs, because let's be honest, this Metamoji thing is not out there. Um, but if you get a kit that's just PNGs for Android, because obviously you're not going to use the GoodNotes file, you can pull those stickers into one file and save them there and just turn the page to pull in more stickers from a different kit, right? You can create your own sticker book. Ah, game changer! So yeah, if you guys have any other questions about this, feel free to contact me because I am all about trying to figure out how to make this style of planning accessible to as many people as possible because it's, it is so fun. I'm, I'm like that annoying friend who's constantly like, oh, you need to listen to this new band or you need to do this and blah, blah, blah. You guys need to digitally plan. It is so much fun and the community is amazing. So if you guys do end up using any of these stickers that I that I told you about, the Tori Amos stickers, tag me on Instagram because I would love to see them. Um, all my social info is in the in the description box. But yeah, good luck, you guys, using this um, this tip because for me. It's been amazing. And if you guys catch this early enough on for, uh, Saturday night, April 20th, I will be doing a how to digitally plan with Metamoji workshop in um, the Facebook group that I run with my girlfriend, Amber from Allen Digitals. Um, the group is called Everyday Digital Planners and I'll have that linked down below too. The uh, live stream is gonna run from six o'clock central time, probably to about 6.30, maybe 6.45. You can see right now that I tend to ramble a little bit, but trust me, there's gonna be a lot of good information. So if you guys catch this in time, um, before Saturday, come on down and hang out. I'm excited. This is going to be my first live stream. I've got some fun stuff that I'm going to be giving away. So head on down and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.